Hello my friends, welcome to my channel where you can find the best 3D printed toys. In this episode, exceptionally, I will talk about upgrading a 3D printer. The first topic in this video is why should we upgrade our 3D printer and why am I talking here about specially the Ender 3 printer. The 3D printing is not a plug and play hobby. Our 3D printer will wear out soon or later, our 3D printer going to break and some component fails. It's not a car, we can't take it to a car mechanic, we have to fix our 3D printer ourselves. To fix a 3D printer, we will need a 3D printer repair skill. To acquire such a skill, we have to practice it and the best way to do it is to slowly upgrading our printer. Such a way we will know our printer components and we can always fix it if necessary. There are different levels of the 3D printer repair skill. At the beginner level we can make simple upgrades to make our 3D printer more reliable. We can maintenance our 3D printer, we will understand how our 3D printer works and we can repair it. In the 3D printing hobby we will need at least this level. The upgrades in this video are representing this beginner level. On the intermediate level, we can make serious changes on our 3D printer. We can work on the hardware and the software. We can change the softwares and develop our 3D printer as we like. On the highest level of the 3D printer repair skill, we can build 3D printers. We can buy 3D printer sets like Voron, Visibot, Ru or Rook, or we can self-source the necessary components. We will be able to wire our printer and we will be proficient with the software of our 3D printer. I can surely say we will need this new skill if we have a 3D printer. Of course, we can decide which level we want to reach. As I said earlier, the aim of this video is to reach the beginner level with some simple upgrades which make our 3D printer much more reliable, quieter and better. I think the best 3D printer is to learn upgrading is the Ender 3 because the Ender 3 is the most sold 3D printer on the world. There are thousands of upgrades and mods are available. There are a big community around this printer. There are lots of information available. The 3D printer is cheap. There are lots of inexpensive upgrades which can make our Ender 3 much better. The Ender 3 is not the perfect beginner printer. It is a fantastic platform for modifying and hacking. And if you want to be experienced with 3D printing, electronics and you want to thinker, this is the best bank for the back platform what you can get. Which is why in this video I choose the Ender 3 and I will show you my selection of upgrades which made my 3D printer more reliable. Subscribe. The Ender 3 comes with weak springs under the heating bed. We can buy inexpensive strong springs. If we change them we don't have to make bed leveling that often. Metal extruder. The original Ender 3 extruder made from plastic and easily breaks. The metal version is much more durable and better. Glass bed. The aluminium heated bed is rarely completely flat, even when new, and they continue to rub with heat or stress. Glass bed has less tendency to deform under pressure. Printing on an ideal flat surface like glass ensure the bed remains level after each print job. 0.6mm nozzle. If you want to print faster, one solution is to use a nozzle with a bigger hole. Throw the bigger hole, our 3D printer can push more filament and this is going to reduce our printing time. Cyan board. To reduce the noise of the printer, we can change the original board for a cyan board. This is not a complicated upgrade. We have to make a photo from the original wiring and when we change the board, we must plug the wires back with the help of the photo. Rubber bands. To further reduce the noise of our 3D printer, we can put some rubber bands parts between the motors and the metal parts. It's a very inexpensive and easy upgrade. Concrete paving slab. 
To reduce the resonance of the 3D printer is the easiest way is to put a concrete paving slab with a rubber base under the printer. The stone mass and the rubber together will reduce the resonance and will make our print quality better. PTF Capricorn tube is much better than the original tube. This blue tube is used to get the best printing performance out of our 3D printer. It has more accurate inner diameter, the quality is superior and maintaining rigidity on bands much better. The last upgrade is what I recommend is to change the original software which is Marlin to Kipper. This upgrade is like to use old Nokia phones and then start to use smartphones. I think the easiest way is to buy a sonic pad. We can buy around $120 and we can connect four printers to it. So each printer costs around $30. This is not an essential upgrade that makes our 3D printer faster and we can use a lot of new features which come with Kip. At the end, with these upgrades, we converted our Ender 3 to a more reliable, faster, quieter 3D printer. We also reached the first level of 3D printer repair skill. We can maintenance our 3D printer, we can troubleshoot it and fix it if necessary. In this video I talked about why we should upgrade our 3D printer and which upgrade I recommend at the beginning. I hope that you enjoyed this episode, if so, please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. If you like, support me on my Patreon page. I wish you happy printing. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.